On Tuesday, about 4 million Israelis will head to the voting booths to choose the upcoming government. But the competition is mainly between three parties. Kadima headed by Tsipa Livni, Labour headed by Ehud Barak, and Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party. In the beginning, polls had put Likud in the lead. But according to latest polls, Likud and Kadima are in a neck-and-neck neck race to be the next Knesset's largest party. And amidst the intense rivalry among Israeli candidates, the Arab minority living in Israel is clearly split on whether to boycott the elections or vote for Arab candidates. In the pretty little town of Umm al-Faham near Nazareth, Raja Ighbariya started a campaign calling on Arabs to refuse to go to Israeli voting booths. He says for 60 years Israel has refused to give the native residents back their basic rights. Besides, it is threatening their presence in Israel on a daily basis. All the time we boycott it because we don't want uh, to give a legitimacy for this uh, racist and uh, uh, Zionist institution uh, who is concluding the, all the leadership of the Zionist state. Polls show that so far 50% of the Arab street will boycott the elections. But many others think that it is important to vote in order to stop Israeli hardliners like Avigdor Lieberman, the leader of Israel Betenu, plans to expel the Arabs. Lieberman is campaigning on the slogan, without loyalty there is no citizenship, promising a new bill requiring all Palestinians with Israeli passports to swear loyalty to the Jewish state or lose their citizenship. The situation in Israel is going more and more uh, for uh, more war and for more uh, racism uh, to our situation here. And this election comes uh, to let uh, the Arab citizens to vote against these uh, authorities. Arab streets remain split about the elections for many reasons. We have the right to express ourselves. We live here and we belong to here. Why should we vote? We've seen the occupation and siege. Peace is the biggest Israel ally. We are denied all rights. According to polls, the right-wing Likud party of Benjamin Netanyahu will probably win. But the wider significance of the moment is, as experts warn, these elections are likely to mark the emergence of a far-right force with a racist, anti-Arab agenda as Israel's power broker. Shirin Yassin, Press TV, Al-Quds.